Okay guys, uh, we're back and today I'm going to show you a tweak that I, actually a couple tweaks, that I learned about about three or four years ago. Um, I had been watching, um, up, up until, uh, I, I say about three, three and a half years ago, I had been using full textures in games and I just thought, you know, I was spending a lot of money on all these different powered video cards and you know I was getting really discouraged in my video game um, you know my PC gameplay because every card that I bought um, and we're talking about ranging from uh, you know hundred and sixty five dollars all the way up to five hundred um, I was getting very very low frame rates in games and uh, I happened to be watching Linus Tech Tips one day and he kept uh, um, he kept saying that he didn't use any aliasing in his videos, and so I thought it was kind of weird that somebody that was you know who, who's a reviewer and who has access to as as you know the the high level um, the highest level uh, graphics cards that he would not use any aliasing. So um, I stopped. You know, thinking he was crazy, and I I tested it for myself, and so um, I'm going to show you guys today what I uh, found out about three and a half years ago. Um, if you turn off any Edison and you turn your shadows down to low, um, I think it's very important for you to have shadows in games, but they don't need to look good at all um, because how many times um, have you been playing a game and you've ever said well oh my goodness but look at the shadows though it, you don't say that you normally say that about textures which um, is another thing uh, is another plus that you get from turning your anti aliasing off anti aliasing is a technique um, that um, blurs your image so that you, uh, it gives you the illusion that you know the jagged lines in your game are straight but it, all it really does is just blur the image and so you can get a more crisp clear image if you turn off any aliasing and you can get more frames per second um, if you turn any aliasing off and also if you uh, turn off turn low turn your shadows all the way down to low so I'm going to show you that right now this is Assassin's Creed 4 uh, Let's try, let's do the shadows thing first. As you can see right now, I got MSA A on 4, which is what most of you probably are using. Some of you are using 8. But, um, let's go ahead and turn the uh, shadows down to low. And, as you can see, we were running at, what, about 26, 27? We just improved all the way up to 30, uh, 30, you know, 30 frames per second, just simply from turning the shadows from all the way to from the highest down to to the lowest. Um, now, watch this because this is this is going to be a a huge performance boost um, when we turn our anti-aliasing off. It's almost genius. And I'm, I'm really surprised that I didn't catch this earlier. Now you see, we've jumped from 30 frames per second all the way up to 45. So, in, in, in all honesty, we got, probably got, with those two tweaks, we got about 20 frames per second. Which took a game that was probably, you know, considered unplayable. And now it's playable. And look how beautiful the picture looks. Look, look at the textures. They're not blurred anymore. It's just a crisp, clear picture. And you've got the frames per second to boot. And you still have your shadows. They just aren't as pretty as they were. But, you know, there you guys have it. So there's a real quick tweak that you guys can do. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.